always dive with a float and a flag in the Mediterranean. Welcome to the heel of the boot in Italy, a place called Puglia. Hannah and I left Sicily a couple days ago and we got to this area that we've always wanted to visit in Italy. It's a hub for winemaking, cheese, bread. The local food is sensational. But what is also cool about this place is the shoreline is very rocky and it continues down into the sea here. And as you can see by some of the formations of the rock, there's lots of holes. And what I'm learning about diving in the Mediterranean, particularly Italy, is looking in holes is one of the big keys to success. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to get up nice and early and try a spot just down the road here that looks good on the charts and hopefully get something for dinner. Hannah got up, did some exercise. I slept in, so we're gonna do the afternoon session. Haven't eaten any fish in a couple of days, so really I'm keen. Ready. ready. There so, was a hiatus which was required, and now I'm ready. We ate fish for 10 days straight, too much, but mm. ready to get back on the train, if I'm good enough to catch anything. Yes, please. Going to take two guns out, going to take the longer one for out in the open and the shorter one on the float, just if I find something in holes. And the water here is 25, 26 degrees, so I'm going to go back to the three millimeter suit. And hopefully that's enough to get dinner. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. I've just come across one little area where I can see some cracks under cuts and there's some sargos hanging around, so I'm gonna get the small gun out and the torch, see if I can find something. These small cracks in the rock definitely looked like they would hold fish, but not today. I decided to move out wider and found some rocks amongst the seagrass, which looked very promising. A curious little dentex comes to check me out. After some time on the bottom, another two small dentex come to say hello. One stopped mid-swim, which was incredible to see. It seems like a glitch in the video, but it actually just stopped dead still like that. I just had what I think are the same two little dentex come close to me that time. One came fairly close, but I didn't really see it because I was looking at the one in the distance. I might head a little bit closer in shallow to see if I can find them there. No reason why they wouldn't be in shallower water here. It's still only 12 meters here, but this time of day, they could be up in the shallows hunting. Maybe some orata as well, that'd be nice. I was just about to dive, but heard a faint engine noise and decided to look up. And that is why you always dive with a float and a flag in the Mediterranean because of sailboats and other boats that don't really look around what they're doing. That guy did seem to be apologetic, but it could have been a lot worse. I certainly wasn't feeling very relaxed after being nearly hit by that sailboat, so I decided to make my way back to the shoreline when something from the surface caught my eye.
At last, something to eat for dinner. This sago, they're a really nice eating fish, and my brother-in-law actually found some wild rosemary on the seashore where we were diving. So we're going to throw some of that in the gut cavity. If it grows together, it goes together. We'll just lather this up with a bit of olive oil and some sea salt, rosemary inside, and in the oven. Simple. The good thing about catching small fish is they take a very brief time in the oven to cook. And these sargos, although small, they are absolutely delicious. Really nice white meat on them. Really pleasant flavor. Not super fishy, but nice and moist. And I would shoot one of these any day of the week. Hopefully we can upgrade and get something that's going to make the entire meal, not just a little side portion. So over the next coming days, we're heading to another area of Puglia around the heel of the boot a little bit more. And we'll do some more diving there to try and get some other fish. We are now in the eastern side of Puglia. So what you see down there is the very southeastern tip of Italy. So this afternoon, going to do a bit of a drive around to see if we can find anywhere to get in for a dive later in the week. The water's clean, but probably don't want to dive around this. Looking for dive spots is hard work. Way too roasty at the moment, so found a nice little bay that's probably not good for spearfishing, but nice for a swim. We're just checking out this little blue grotto here, and I saw someone in a spearfishing suit, so I chased them down and asked them if they were spearfishing or spearfish in the area, and he said it was very depressing. He said he used to go fishing here, but only free diving now. He said if you want to catch fish, maybe at 25 or 30 meters. So if he's local and that's the benchmark, I guess that's probably gonna be what it's like. So we'll see over the next coming days. It's gorgeous. Stop number 16. Could definitely get in down there somewhere. Although, because it's easy to get to, I guess it probably gets dived a bit. Oh well, that's what we've got to work with. Two potential spots. See what looks better on the charts once we get home later tonight. Good morning. Decided to get up quite early today. As you can see, the sun's just poking its head up on this spot here where this little area here is about 10 meters and then it goes off to deeper water. So I'm hoping up against the rocks here, there's some fish this morning. Waste no more time and get straight into it. Close to the shoreline, there was a lot of freshwater runoff from the storm the night before, which made it difficult to ambush fish in the shallows as it looks like a mirage and you can't see really well. I decided to head out a bit further and try some espetto. A small dentex comes at me head on for a look, but still a little bit too far away to shoot. It's difficult to see, but two beautiful gilt head sea brim come for a look just behind that dentex. Need a few sargos on those deep drops there. They sort of come in for a look, but not too close. Ugh. It's so tough to get fish here.
which is quite the modest catch, but after about 10 dives out there, finally came down on a school of sargos and just decided to take one of those. There was little dead text fixed in there, but they were a bit too small. But another one of those would be really, really nice. I didn't have any more luck in the deeper water, so I decided to head back to the shallows. I picked up a few red mullets and a scorfano to round out the menu. That was a good fun shore dive. As expected, the terrain gradually sloped off, but as I found that more isolated rock that was a little bit further away from the sand, that's where I started to see all the fish, the dentex, the orata, the sargos, all those sorts of things, but too good for me today. Tonight's modest catch is the sargo, the small scorfano, and these red mullets. These are super delicious and it's lovely to be able to mix up the fish varieties here. Most of the time in restaurants you'll get about four of these red mullets about this size. All Mediterranean restaurants generally have them. I'm going to grill these in the griddle here because that's all we've got. A little sauce that is parsley, garlic, lemon, some local olive oil and these salted capers. Caperi al sale piccoli, which is these little things, they are Turbo salty, as you can see, they're preserved in salt, but they just add a nice little kick. If it grows together, it goes together. The scorpion fish have a reputation for tasting amazing. In Australia, they're also known as poor man's lobster. The meat is, it's kind of chunky, but delicate, a bit like a lobster. So these are a really prized fish here in the Mediterranean. Which do you think is going to be the best? Mm, go for it. Go for it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That is naughty. Okay. Oh, that's not delicious. <laughs> going to need to learn to find these things, I think. <laughs> mm. Mm, it's very good. It has so much flavor. Sago. Sago. Put this in Portugal. It's not very nice. I do think the texture is nice. And what's good is it's taken on the flavors of your dressing, actually. So you can sort of taste that lemon and capers coming through. It's really nice. Red mullet. I'm going to go with this one. Mediterranean special. On the shoulder, lovely. Okay. Texture is really nice on this fish. The small bits of flesh break apart nicely. It's really nice, actually. I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to conclude our spearfishing adventures in Italy. Tomorrow we're heading to Rome and getting a flight to Poland to go for a friend's wedding, actually. But after that, we're returning to the Mediterranean to do some more diving. But we're not going to be in a European Union country. So if you have any guesses about where that might be, leave a comment below and we'll see you there. Yeah, that's dinner for sure. For sure, definitely. Dude, that's so tasty.